<laughs> oh my Christ. This is, this is from like a horror movie. What is even happening? In the previous video of People Playground, I played around with a thing called Mutation Syringe. Bob over here was uh, injected with all kinds of weird things that turned him into beings that should probably not exist to begin with. But uh, that got me thinking, you know? Bob here is just a human. Okay? Bob, Bob can't really do anything. Can you, Bob? I've put my sights on some heroes. This here is Wolverine. This here is Bruce Banner that's able to turn green, big, and mean. The reason I'm doing these two is because, well, first of all, they're both mutants, just like Spider-Man over there. He's just chilling, so we're gonna try that as well. Imagine if Spider-Man had like five arms, all of them able to shoot webs all around. Or or Wolverine here was turned into like a hedgehog with like arms all around him and able to penetrate with his claws. What about what if Bruce Banner could become even a bigger Hulk? We're gonna try that out. So let's just put Wolverine over there and into the side like that, you know, make out with Spider-Man or whatever. It's not like I'm judging. And let's put our sights to you. Now, this is the cannibal mutation syringe. It makes a human into a cannibal giant. Um, that I want to try out. So first things first, normal Bruce Banner. Oh, oh my God, it worked. <laughs> <laughs> Bruce Banner is a big guy, even though he's, he's not even green yet. He's still super green. Now, what happens when I turn him into the Hulk? <gasps> oh my god! I can't believe it actually worked. Oh, that is sick! Jump onto Bob! Hiya! And squish him with your big fat butt. Or kick him in the whatever. It's totally good. It's t totally good. Also, I totally forgot this, but in the previous video, I didn't combine the syringes. I only used one syringe per human. So today we're gonna use multiple syringes. And if you like experiments like this, you should probably subscribe to the channel because I do stuff like this all the time. Right, now what happens if we turn him back? It's just, okay, right. So he's just officially this big giant blob of flesh. Let's turn him into a snake. Let's see what happens. Here we go and... <gasps> oh my God, this is gonna be the biggest snake I've ever saw. <laughs> Oh my god, okay, we need to turn him away from that place because, oh my Christ, this is this is from like a horror movie. What is even happening? I don't know what I've done, but I've created something of a monstrosity. Um, Bruce, there you are. Uh, he's detached from the rest of his body. What is that? What is this? This is a snake. Oh, whoops. Oh, I just, I pulled I pull it apart. Uh, okay. Well, uh, there's only one thing left to do when an experiment has gone wrong. That's to shove it under the rug and forget that ever happened. Cool. Now then. Oh, hi there, Bob. Oh, I'm so sorry. You're stuck under the table. Oh, how clumsy of me. Just stand up normally. There you go. Because you're going to enjoy this next show. We're going to turn Wolverine. Are you listening to me? Stupid. Oh, good. You're back. That didn't take long. Anyway, Wolverine here is, as we all know, able to shoot his like claws in and out out of his arm or fist or whatever. We're gonna see what happens if we just give him some more limbs. Like just physically give him more limbs. There we go. Okay, Wolverine, if you could get back up because you're gonna get, there you go. That's the more limbs I'm looking for. <laughs> Let's get the syringe out of you because that looks, it looks kind of painful. Stop it. There you go and get it out. Nice. Uh, are you able to stand up now? You need to brace you. Stop running in place, Wolverine. Stop, stop running in place. Stop, don't kick Spider-Man. Don't do it. Don't do it. Spider-Man is for a later experiment. Stop kicking around like a duck. Oh my God. Okay. Oh, the legs are going to kill Wolverine. Okay. No, we need to stop it. Stop, 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 stop. Stop. Move. Okay. Freaking just sit. Can you sit with all of these legs? Oh my God. Oh, Wolverine is just... Okay, you know what? We need to strap him down. We need to strap him down. Uh, rope. Rope. Wolverine, stop moving. Stop moving about. Stop it. Stop, stop, stop. There we go. I think that should contain him. There's a bunch of rope here. He shouldn't be able to get anywhere. Now, his legs are kicking, but that's fine. Let's extend his claws here. Let's see if it works. Okay, so the fake limbs are not actually... They don't have any claws in them. So that's a little bit of a shame. Um, but th it's time we just took this monstrosity out of its misery because, you know, there's... Oh, God. Because there's no reason we should have to listen to this. There you go. 
I know you're Wolverine and you're immortal or whatnot, but like it has to be done. Wait, are you actually immortal? Boy, am I glad there's the Chipotle right next to the place here. So in here we have a we have a grill. Okay, this grill here will take care of Wolverine for sure. Okay, Wolverine, there you go. Get over here. No biggie. Let's get rid of this door over here because we don't need this. There you go. Oh, we might actually need it because the house came down. <laughs> Uh, all right, here we go into the cooking facility and there you go and just cook him. There we go. Ah, we took care of Wolverine. All right. Turns out Wolverine is not the best subject to test on. I wish I knew that sooner. Let's try things on you then. Now, what would make a Spider-Man even more deadly? Um, I'm thinking, um, well, more arms, of course. He could just shoot webs all over the places. But what if he turned into kind of like a, like a Dr. Octopus kind of thing with his arms? So he would have like long limbs and whatnot. Let's try that. Let's just have Spider-Man with long limbs. What could possibly go wrong? Oh boy. Yeah, okay. Yeah, all right. You're turning into Slender Man. That's cool. So, oh boy. <laughs> oh my god. Oh! <laughs> oh my Christ. Are you able to stand up with these legs, Spider-Man? Can you Oh, look at the look at these arms. Look at them arms. He's got so long arms. Look, he's he's like a like a jellyfish. Look at uh I know there's a way we can actually make him into jellyfish, but this is like as, as good as we can get. Now, let's see if the spider arms are still working. His his legs are kicking him in the face, but that's good. Let's, let's take his arm over here. There you go. And let's shoot some webs. <gasps> it still works. Oh my God. I can't believe it. We can still shoot webs. It's like Slinky Spider-Man. <laughs> Slinky man. That's who he is. <laughs> Look at this. It's amazing. Okay, now what else can we do? What if we just made, his, made him have more limbs right now? Like more big limbs. Oh boy, okay, here we go. Limbs are growing. Limbs are growing out of everywhere. Here we go. That's not good. Uh, he, he's shooting a lot of webs for some reason. Um, can these arms shoot webs? Can they? Can, can they? Uh, I, I, I'm trying my best here, but I don't think they can. <gasps> he, he's cooling down. He's actually... Oh, no. No, the feet are waking up again. Here we go. Here's an arm. Damn it! They don't shoot any webs! Oh, that would have been so cool. Imagine if he was, if he was like Octopus Spider-Man. Uh... I would have paid to see that in a movie. Just octopus Spider-Man. Making human divide into several new human when cut in pieces. That's what I want. So we're gonna see if I can technically clone Spider-Man. But just, you know, we're gonna rip him a new one. There you go. I'll rip it out. And then we're just gonna we're just gonna see if the same Spider-Man genes is in that one as well. So for this to work, Spider-Man, I'm just gonna have to strap you down a little bit, don't I? Just like that. And then I'm gonna get your arm over here, and I'm just I'm just gonna give it a little bit of a tug, a little bit of a hmm. Okay, well then. Now I know this is probably not what you had in mind, Spider-Man, but I'm gonna rip your arm off with this machine of mine. So let's just activate it, and the arm should come off any second now. The arm is not coming off. Okay, well that my uh, my machine just failed, and Spider-Man is slowly sliding out of existence. Goodbye, Spider-Man. All right, I think I'm just gonna have to use a little bit more force and more rigid cable. So here we go. This will hurt. I'm not gonna lie. This this will hurt like a bitch. Okay, this will just just flat out hurt. Here we go. Oh, so these arms, man. Give me your arms, Spider-Man. Ah. Okay, how do I? Okay, let's just pull it hard. Pull it hard. Sever your limbs, damn it! Oh my god, I didn't know Spider-Man's limbs were this, this floppy. Nothing a good old chainsaw won't solve. Here we go, there you go. I knew I could turn you into new Spider-Man. <laughs> there we go. And now, from all of those severed limbs, we're getting new Spider-Man. Look at this, I've created an army of Spider-Man. This is lovely. Now I need to see if these spider thing works. No, no. Okay, so these Spider-Men are fake. It's not really that impressive, but you know what is impressive? We just put you over there, put you over there, and put you over there like that. And give me one second. Now you all might be thinking to yourself, how adorable that all the Spider-Men are looking, are, are sitting here in a, in a line. Well, they're all gonna be hitting the head with a wing syringe. 
<laughs> Let the limb grow. Oh, there's a lot of noise happening over here. I should have thought this through before I did it. Oh my god, my computer is gonna. D oh no. Oh boy, 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 boy. Stop, 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 stop. Oh, what is that sound? So instead of having like a hundred Spider-Man, I'm just gonna have the one. And we're gonna stick it with the limb syringe or like the uh, the wing syringe and we're gonna see what happens your arms are turning into wings that is beautiful now while he's turning into a sweet little butterfly i'm gonna I'm gonna see if there's some other superheroes here that we need to test things on now here we have iron man he looks kind of like spider-man but i assure you this is iron man and uh he's able to shoot stuff from his from his hand from his fist not now though, because he's, he's slightly broken and I need to fix him, which is why he's come to me. So let's just see what we have here in the good old wacky suitcase. We've got the gas mutation syringe. He's technically a human under that armor, right? So he should feel this and be totally not okay. Uh, sorry, Spider-Man. I might have hit you with this, but are you, can I have it back? Thank you. Are you okay? Are you feeling any side effects? Do you smell something funny? No, no, Spider-Man's fine. Here we go into Iron Man and Iron Man's head is turning into a ghast and he's got limbs coming out of it and he just ditched his body and now he can fly forever and ever and don't need to worry about Jarvis mal malfunctioning ever because Iron Man is now a ghast. Ta-da! Now you guys thought I forgot about Bob, didn't you? There is no video of people playground where I don't mess around with the Bob. So over here, we've got a Iron Man suitcase. We're gonna enwrap Bob with this and we're gonna see if it protects him or not. There we go. He's now Iron Man. Cool. Um, just to make sure, Bob, this is standard procedure. We're just gonna make sure. Um, oh boy. I don't think that armor protects him all the, Bob? Oh, well, I mean, he's definitely, he's turned into Iron Man, all right. Um, Bob, um, you're not allowed to, okay. <clears throat> uh. Oh, good, you're back. <laughs> I thought I lost you forever. Here we go, then. Let's inject you with some sort of syringe, and let's see if you're immune or not. Let's just do the uh, spore mutation syringe, shall we? Yeah, let's just see if this is dangerous or not for you. Oh, look at that. It's actually protecting him a little bit. Oh, okay, Spider-Man, goodbye! Fly like the butterfly you are! Take it, take it. So you know what? This suit is actually protecting him. Uh, uh, I'm surprised. As far as I can tell, Iron Man is pretty much immune to being stabbed with stuff. But what about inhaling stuff? This is a... Um, it's just, oh, um, no, it's fine. He's just having a nap. This is a syringe, um, uh, vapification. Yes, that's it. If I touch a syringe with this, boop, we've got the syringe effect here. Maybe we should try this out first. Sorry, Bob. It has to be done. Here we go. Is it, does it work like this? <gasps> it does. Okay, good enough. Goodbye. Maybe you don't wake up. We're gonna wake up from this. <gasps> it's working. Iron Man cannot be penetrated with stuff, but we can inject him with the actual. Fr I, my brain is not working. I don't know what this is called. It's like the steam of it. It turns the syringe into gas. Thank you, brain. Thank you. It took you long enough. Here we go. So now this gas thingy is loaded with the snake syringe. Now, what better way to try out the gas than on actual Marvel superheroes? We've got Star-Lord over here. We've got Wolverine. We've got Carnage. We've got uh, the Silver Surfer. We've got um, Green Goblin and uh, Dr. Octopus. We've got Bruce Banner turning into a Hulk. We've got uh, Cyclops and then um, Daredevil. He can't hear anything. Ah, he, actually, he can't see anything. So maybe he don't see the gas coming. <laughs> Oh boy, who am I kidding? Everybody's gonna see the gas coming. What just happened? Uh, oh boy, something. Oh, hello. Uh, what? I, I pressed something and I don't know what happened. So I'm just gonna ignore that. And we're gonna take the snake syringe. Boop! There you go. And then we're gonna spray all of these with a snakiness. Here we go. Oh yeah, buddy! <laughs> I am destroying all of Marvel at once! Ah, bask in my ambience. And by that, I mean fart. My computer is dying. It's actually dying right now. I think I've got, yeah, I've got seven frames and everybody's turning into snakes. Great. 10 out of 10, 
watch them turn into a snake again. 